What we have here is another bomber, bomber day. <laughs> Inside of mine. Oh my god. We just drove in, turned around, and now we can come back out. Woo! My camera's a mess. <laughs> Hot mess. are going to go out for a rip on many of the classic trails around here. Single track and double track. Pierce is on his Africa twin, affectionately known as the Dirty Goat. And I'm on my 790 that I call Scrappy. My favorite bike ever. So fun. Got prime spring conditions. It's cool out. It's sunny. It's been raining the last couple of days. But not so much that it's soupy. It, it really is perfect. <laughs> We're heading up one of the uh, variations of Hartnell Road that we don't go up as much, at least not during the event of our gathering. So those of you who come to our annual event might be like, hey, that was a different part of Hartnell. We're going to head into Twisted Steel. Do that. That's lots of fun. I haven't been on it yet this year. And then we'll see where, uh, see where the adventure takes us. Such a fun trail. So Twisted Steel is, uh, a, we rated it a three for difficulty. So depending on, oh, I got punched with a little mud. Depending on the size of your bike, that could mean anything from pretty damn easy to pretty crazy hard. If you go to the eventualbikegathering.com, you can see the full rating system there, explanations and conversions for different sizes of bikes. Well, well that was part of Twisted Steel. We're gonna probably go the other way, Piercy. First, I'm gonna fix my camera. And I can show you something. Ta-da! Look at my new jacket. It's the Basilisk from, uh, from Moscow Moto. I love it. I'm gonna talk about it more for sure on this trip right now. I think we're gonna do some more riding. So yes, when I opened up our Moscow order, we ordered a bunch of stuff between Andrew, myself, and Shane. Shane's our lead programmer. And uh, this jacket was in a garment bag. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Really nice coat hanger sticking out the top. I know it's minor, but I'm like, hmm, details. And then you unzip the garment bag, you see this brilliant orange, which I think is awesome. And uh, then you touch the jacket. And you're just like, Oh, because, uh oh, <laughs> right through the middle, hey, eh? okay. As soon as you touch the jacket, you're like, this is of a caliber that I don't think I've even touched before. It's just the materials and like it almost felt like it could stand up on its own. And uh, maybe some of the climb stuff, the really, really expensive is kind of in the same realm. But no, I was super impressed. And so the philosophy behind this is there's no armor in this jacket. This jacket in itself is kind of like armor, dragon skin stuff, basilisk skin. But uh, I'm wearing my soft armor underneath and when I get hot later, which I undoubtedly will, let's take the jacket off and I'm gonna put it in my tail bag and I'll still have all my other protection on. That's amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying Twist of Steel here. I'll get a little closer into Pierce you can watch his riding. Kick and move. Meow. All right, so the other thing that we really wanted in our jackets, and I say we, it's Andrew and I, is front vents to take in the air and rear vents to exhaust the air. 
And this jacket has too big on the back and too big on the front and it also has bicep ones that are open just kind of out there scooping some air. And it's been very effective. I was riding yesterday and it started to really rain hard. I didn't film it, but I was able just to reach up and just grab the zips and close them real quick. Hmm. If you're looking down and seeing my speedometer, it's still in miles per hour. Every time I think of it, I'm in the middle of riding going, hmm, I thought it was going faster than that. What a great spring down in, in uh, Arizona, and Utah. Love it down there. Quite frankly, I can't wait to go back. Today, the weather is perfect here, but every other day it's like, mm, maybe I should have stayed down there a little bit longer. I don't get very much work done though. <laughs> Like the look of this terrain we have tons of it here we're in burning british columbia a place called becker mountain it's right outside of town and uh we'll show you around if you come out here during the adventure bike gathering you can join any number of groups going out for easy medium and hard off-road some of it's heavy enduro like this big bike some of it's really heavy enduro like pierce's bike and then we have guys that come out on uh, enduro bikes with blinkers. Now, when I say there's easy, medium, and hard rides going out, if you are a beginner to motorcycling, this is not for you. You can't be learning how to clutch and brake and turn properly and all that stuff on, on e even our easiest trails. so good. Andrew's gonna have an 890 sometime soon, we hope. Certainly been ordered. He's got a bunch of parts. He's got a bunch of stuff from Camel Adventure products too to put on it. That's gonna make it extra sweet. We don't usually have ruts in our mud holes, but that one certainly does. In the video that I was editing last night from our last ride together, and uh, Pierce dumps his bike a whole bunch of times, but we were in such a hard area for adventure bikes. Like I was on my 500 and I was struggling. I would normally, if I go and ride that area, I go on a 300. And in truth, I'm getting out of riding that kind of really hard stuff. I just make the easy stuff harder by taking this there. Oh, we've got an angry mud hole almost immediately. I lost one of my little Kenwood radios in it last year. That's it, Pierce just got through. Maybe. Ha, I did it! I took a dab, but I did it! <laughs> I'm happy with myself. <laughs> it's time to lose the jacket. So I had a problem with my Moscow tank bag. It's separated in here. I contacted them. I said, no problem. We'll send you a new one. Just like that. Still have my giant loop stuff back here. I got all my tools, safety stuff. It's good. All right, see you in a bit. Cars. 
cars. No cars. Let's go, man. Coming up to the crux here on this corner. A lot of people eat it. Just look through it. Keep going. It's great! <laughs> that gets the heart pumping! Wow! It's a fun little root section right here. Oh, Pierce! Do it! <laughs> Picked up a fellow named Lane on a Kawasaki Dual Sport. He's right behind me. I had to take a dab. My goodness. See if we can catch up to Pierce again and get some good filming. Hopefully my filming's better today than last time, because man did I screw up a lot of stuff. Overexposed. Camera too low. Uh, microphone on front instead of rear. And not in super wide. <laughs> Could you screw anything else up? Pierce is navigating again, so... Well, we know how that turned out last weekend. Ended up in the hardest area on the mountain. Uh, thankfully, I wasn't on this bike. I can't remember what this trail has in store for us. We'll see. Camera's rolling. I'm very happy to go pretty much anywhere on my 501, even if I don't know what's around the corner. Because, hey, if I have to, it's not that hard to turn around even. But I can get through most stuff. This bike, I'm uh, not super adventuresome. I'll go places where it's an established route for adventure bikes or things we've done on our other bikes, and I'm, I know what I'm getting into. Biffed my bars into that tree. There we go. A little light on Mojo right now. Big root. Almost. <laughs> I get all the way up. One more. Little extra this time. I think I got it. Just a tiny bit more. Wait a minute. There. That was a big fella. Oh, Piercy. See that? <laughs> I think it might be snack time already. Yeah. Okay, we're rolling. Had a little snack back there. Water. Try to get my mojo back. So far, so good. I 
I did a bridge without stalling it. That's nice. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if I've adventure biked on this. And it's been a year or two since I've dirt biked it, so I hope I didn't make a big mistake there. This is the bench trail. I definitely have an adventure bike up here before. I like it. Go jump. Cool, man. This is great. Oh, I took a dab, two dabs, if anyone's keeping track. I think there's a big angry root halfway up this thing. Just use that big bike momentum, hey? There. Not a bad root. <laughs> there it is. I remember the root. I think I'll go around. I'm into a bigger route now. It's gonna... One minute, please. <laughs> Why am I so short? Come on! <laughs> <sighs> oh. Hey, it can't get going. What do you think? I went sort of straight up and then I stayed on the outside, but it'll make your left foot your going half. I won't be able to touch you. Yeah. It's uh Right underneath the oh. foot bag. Cool. You should get the winch out. <laughs> For the video. I got nowhere to be. Let's set up a shot. Okay. Okay. Special feature today. Let's say Scott's riding by himself. Well, no. Let's say that Pierce is weak, which he's not. And Scott's <laughs> dumb, which he is. And we got to get up this and we can't get up. So we're going to take out a little winch system. This will be fun. Okay, stay tuned. I gotta open up all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 